Okay, and today's daily rehab is about teaching you a few little exercises that you can do for an acute lower back pain episode or acute spasm from a lumbar disc bulge that you may have encountered or had. And these exercises are really, really good to do sort of first thing in the morning or and at night to get you moving. So they're what we call our daily exercises that are precursor, you know, before you do your main set of mobility and rehab exercises that help with the problem you've got. So they're really good at unlocking or um, releasing the lower back, getting it out of spasm so it actually starts moving a little better, you start moving a little better, and then once you've been up for an hour or two, say in the morning, and then you, you can do your exercises a little bit better. Now I have stolen a couple of these exercises from Sarah Key, so credit goes out to her for these ones you'll see in this program. But Today I'll show you four exercises that I like and we've put them inside our Lumbar Disc Rehab Program online. So you'll see that, you can see that for free. You can see it's in week one to four. So if you have a look at week one on the website, you'll see those actual exercises individually and you can click on each one and watch the videos of them as well as this one you've seen today. So the first one I want you to show you is a pelvic tilt. Now, this one you do lying down. Now you can do this in bed. So this is a really good one if you've got acute lower back pain and you're struggling or if you're lying down on the sofa or you're lying down on the floor preferably. Um, you can work on this one to get this back moving, unlock a little bit more and remember this focuses on muscle release. So I'll teach you a few things. The movement is very much centered around your lower back. Okay, we call it a pelvic tilt because what you're doing is you're tilting your pelvis back that way. Now if you watch very carefully, the movement is only this, you watch this, it's that much. Okay, so I'm going from neutral spine, so my neutral spine is, I can put a bit of gap under here, I'm going to go and tilt backwards to gently flex the lower back and then I let it sort of spring back. So I'm going to go tilt backwards, so I'm tilting my pelvis backwards, then I release. So what I'm doing is I'm making those lower back muscles, that the extensors that are under my spine, that are locked up in spasm when I have an acute episode, is I'm actually, when I'm flattening my lower back like that, I'm stretching them out. So I actually pelvic tilt move my spine from extension to flexion through neutral and that stretches out those extensors that forces them to relax you've just got to try and make sure you're using a little bit of pelvic floor and a bit of push through the heels to do the tilting don't try and use all your abdominals to really do that i don't want a big increase in muscle control and big increase in abdominal activation there i don't want it's not an ab workout Okay, I'm not trying to brace or anything like that. I'm actually trying to leave this relatively relaxed because I want everything to relax. So you're tilting backwards slowly. And the other thing you gotta do is don't go too far. If you've got an acute disc problem, you don't want to go into a massive amount of flexion, okay? Because the flexion is, the, is gonna sort of promote a posterior disc bulge. So I would just work on going for a tiny little bit of flexion. Now that's okay because I'm unloaded, right? I don't want to be doing flexion loaded, okay? But unloaded as a no gravity is okay as long as it's a little bit. And remember the priority or the aim for this is to try and do muscle spasm release. So I'm trying to get that lower back just relaxed a little bit more into there. I'm not trying to go into flexion. I'm just trying to release that off. Now that's a really good one to do. How many to do? Maybe 10, maybe three sets, but these four things, I would try and do it a bit of a circuit. So you might do one set of each of the four and then repeat into the circuit again, okay? Like your little routine, all right? So that's your pelvic tilt, really good one to work on. The second one you can do again in bed is rotations. Now, this is where you keep your knees together, heels together, Okay, now you can either hold on to the bed or you can hold on to something with your arms out if you're on the floor and you're going to rock and rotate your pelvis over to one side. So you go into right rotation of the lower back and then you pull it back and rock to 
left rotation. Now some people get a bit of a clunk and a click, as long as that's not painful, that's okay. And you just work in the range that you're okay with. Keep those heels together, rotate over, keep your shoulder down, and come back. Now it's not a sustained lower back stretch, that's what you probably do in your mobility section throughout the day, because some backs, when they're quite acute, it's maybe first thing in the morning or in the evening if you're getting sore again, you don't, you just can't hold that stretch. You're too tight and you've got too much pain and spasm. You need to loosen up. So here are your loosening up exercises. And this rotation is one's really nice because most lower backs like rotation. You might find you have a bias to one side. So one side might be like, oh, I can't go as far that side. So don't go through your pain. Just work on the ranges that you're okay with and let it loosen up. Remember, you're gonna do these as a circuit. So I would do about 10 of these to each side. Okay, and then you might do three sets of that. Okay, so one set per circuit, working on this rotation. And again, that's a nice one to get those muscles relaxed and moving because if they've been doing nothing all night because you've been in bed all night, there's a good way to get them moving. So when you then get out of bed, you don't feel like you're sort of getting out of bed like this. Okay, you're getting out of bed a little bit looser because those muscles had a bit of activity. They've gone from spasm to working a little bit more. There's less stiffness. You can start your day a little bit faster, you can get into your exercise a little bit faster, and away you go, all right? Now, the next thing is, again, this is the, like I said, I've stolen these from Zero Keys. This is a yoga block, okay? Sometimes called a back block. Now, you can either use one of these. It's just simply to raise your pelvis and provide some traction, or you can use a big, big book, okay? I don't mind. But these are really good to do at night time in the morning for a bit of self-traction or decompression which gives you a bit of relief through the discs if you're a bit acute, a bit of muscle spasm release, um, and be, try this, this is really good. So again, one minute at a time, only do a minute at a time and include it in your sets. Don't sit on this thing for five to 10 minutes, you might not be able to get off it. So back into here, you're gonna put it under your pelvis. So you lift your pelvis up straight under, okay? Now you try and find that hard bony part of your pelvis so not your lower back don't put it on your lower back don't put it way down your bum where it's on the edge so you just put on that pelvis part imagine like your back is going to be this way from the block okay so if that was the last part of your lower back the block's going to be right there then what you do drop one leg straight make sure you're okay drop the other leg straight make sure you're okay now the two legs down already is giving me a bit of traction. I can feel that bit of a drag going on, which is nice. Then you try and do one arm, and then you try and do two arms. And you just lie there and try and relax over the block. So this feels like, some people feel like, oh, this is great, this is really relieving. Other people, they don't feel a thing, okay? It doesn't matter if you don't feel a thing, you're still getting traction and muscle spasm release through that lower back. So again, you lie like this for a whole minute. All right, and then you come arms down. Once you've done your minute, bend your knees, take it away. Don't lie there with it on. All right, so take it away, and then you go, oh, okay, I'll do my rotations or whatever is next in your little routine. So that's number three. Number four is your pelvic rocks. Now, the pelvic rocks is quite easy. You can either do this. There's an alternative to do it in all fours if you don't like sitting, okay? But I like the sitting one because this is the one you can do when you're out of bed in the morning, you've done those sort of three, four things, and you, you, you know, before you get up or bend forward and get going, this is a great one to work on. Now, the pelvic rock is simply your pelvis doing this. Okay, so think about the pelvis rocking left and right. All right, so for me, what I'm going to try to do, and I like putting my hands on hip, my hips because I sort of can feel what my pelvis is doing. I'm going to push my pelvis on my sitting bones, so these bones here, I'm gonna push them, I'm gonna push left and right, okay? So I'm gonna push left and right like that. Now, with a lot of acute backs, this doesn't hurt, okay? I can just push left and right, and what I'm doing is I'm making the muscles in my lower back here start working. So instead of being locked in spasm, they're having to, to work left and right, but the load is not much. I'm just doing a sitting, as long as you're sitting in a decent sort of posture, just rock it left and right, and try and keep your upper body centered. Like try and keep your head centered. So don't move your, power, your upper body left and right too far. Try and keep your upper body 
reasonably centered and use your spine to rock left and right. No, just maybe do 20 or 30 left and rights like that. Okay, keeping in a decent position. You don't have to use too much abdominal control as long as you're keeping an upright posture and as long as it doesn't hurt. Okay, so left and right. And that will really unlock you. And this is one of the major ones that helps people get going. But it's good to do after you've done those other three. Okay, so then when you get up and you finally get up standing, you know, things are a lot looser and you can move a little bit better, get going for the day, and then you're more likely to do your stretches that you're supposed to do that really loosen you up and more likely to then go and do your core strength exercises, which helps the whole thing. So give those four a go. Like I said, they're on our Lumbar Spine Disc Rehab Week 1. Have a look at that online. It's a free week to have a look at. Check those out and you'll see all the instruction videos for those. And give that a shot if you've got an acute back, maybe you've got pain in the mornings, that sort of thing. And again, try it at night. See how you go.